JKD grappling techniques. Now, when it comes to grappling, the philosophy that we have in JKD is actually we don't want to grapple, right? I think in some ways, why do we want to compete with someone who trains grappling for 5, 10, 15 years? Right. That's not our thing. And also when it comes to the street, uh, you may not always have a wooden floor, you maybe have concrete, you might be have rocks, you don't know. Um, and the challenge being on the ground sometimes is if you have multiple opponents, it's extremely dangerous. You want to get in and get out as quickly as possible. At least that's our philosophy. So, so even when it comes to something like this, let's say accidentally, sometimes out of accident that you are on the ground. Right. How do we defend against a grappler? How do we against, defend against someone attacking us in that way? And, you know, it, it, it's, it's the, depending on who it is and yes. how they will mount you or if the guy knows anything or if he doesn't know anything, the whole idea is that it, it, it can go to the ground if, if let's say you get off balance, mm. right? You get off balance, um, you get hit, you're gonna fall, the person may continue following through. Now, the whole idea is to not allow that to happen. Again, the, the tools that we've been sharing over the videos, like the kicks and all that stuff, you can still utilize that on the ground, but then you also have other things you can do. If I'm in this position, I'm already well aware that I can use fulcrum. I can use a fulcrum and sweep this leg and actually use my hip to rotate and do a hook kick on the ground. So I'm doing this, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna fly out the window. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what, I'm, what I like to try to do, again, is, is get him off balance, off of his structure. So that's so a I, knee kick right there, you can see, yeah. right? So we're still doing a knee kick, mm -hmm. but it's just in a different angle, right? But then I'm also hitting the neck, and neck right the, there. the camera can't see it. But at the same time, if I'm teaching women or anything, I tell them to go ahead and put the your eye. thumb in the eye and just squeeze as hard as you can. But even if he supported himself there, go ahead and support yourself there, Shin. I'm gonna kick that arm out. He's gonna run right into the ground. All right. Okay. Right. This, is, this is a little bit more in tune with hitting the person and getting up as soon as possible. So we're not trying to grapple. We're no. not trying to choke the guy out. No. Nope. We're not trying to do any kind of move. No. We say boom, boom, I want to get yeah. out. Yeah, it, the, the, my philosophy is to escape and attack at the same time. Okay. And avoid being grappled, or don't grapple back. Yes. But you have to have good skills in the energy training. And I, I've been also sometimes doing some, uh, some training with my buddies in, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, or mm -hmm. different grappling art. Mm -hmm. And of course, usually they have the gi, which yep. they actually use that as a, as a weapon. It's right. part of the weapon to yeah. choke you out and also is, is a, and we were playing around and he would do different moves and sometimes I would grab the ear, yeah. right? I, I would grab certain yeah. things. Hey, you, you don't do that. Right, right, right. right? That's not allowed. Well, you know, it's, it's what it is, right? Yeah. And, no. and, and, and it's, it does, I find it throws off the game mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. right? Well, and to be fair in that, in that art, it, they also have an ability to use this stuff in real life self-defense situations. Yes, yeah, very powerful. Like, yeah, but, a great self-defense. So it, sure. you could use that and apply the Jikundo tools on the ground as well. And Absolutely. it still makes your, um, I think, individual art effective. You know, when we're talking about what works, what doesn't work, it's what works as an individual basis. You know, you, your experience, your training in other arts and things like that will help yeah. you determine what's going to happen. It's very helpful as yeah. a, a JKD practitioner when you practice with other, let's say, BJJ uh, practitioner, you'll learn a lot. And then, like, it's a friendly, just exchange and you learn from each other, it will give you more possibilities and you expand your mind how you use some of the tools, right? Right. So see what if he's like in a different position, it'll be inside, you can show that as okay. well. Okay, so now let's say for instance, he's coming in and he's gonna attempt to mount me. You right. gonna attempt to mount. Are you gonna attempt so to mount? this is oh. right there. So you're not letting him, this is groin kick right there, right? I just want right. to see, right? Right there, right? That's groin right there. Oh, yeah, so that's a kick right there. So slow down, slow down, <laughs> slow down. So you can see, so this is a weapon but, right there, right there. Yeah, and, and I'm being very careful, very by careful. the way. So, but, but this, if you notice in Chisa, we'll rotate this. If you grab, go ahead, grab, boom, that's it. So I'm, I'm gonna continue attacking him so he doesn't mount me, okay? Mm -hmm. However, you know, what if he does mount me and he's here? And he's here, go ahead, all the way down, that's it. 
he got me into this position. I'm like, oh, you know. And this is not the position you want to be in, by the way. Yeah. This is not the position you want to be very in. Very hard. And very dangerous. Like, the fight could be over in, like, in a split of a second. Yeah, a good grappler will they keep you here. For a long, no matter what. you're done. You won't be able to do anything. My suggestion, and I, and even in jiu-jitsu circles, they want you to prop your hips up. And so at any point in time, you gotta get out of this. So if he is swinging, take advantage of that and just move off to the side and pop your hips up, okay? okay so okay. you can release. More importantly, don't ever forget as he's doing that, <laughs> you hit the groin and then move off to the side. So you continue. hit the groin, get mm, maybe yeah. it's just shock. Right? Use this as leverage. To get him off. To get right? off, yeah. There you go. So. This is just one of the one of the ways you can help escape uh, something that gets uh, where you're mounted or somebody's attacking you or trying to little throw punches at you while the other person is on the ground. And um, there's a lot of tools you can use. You can actually re-grab the guy back. But again, our philosophy is to escape and attack at the same time. Yeah. More questions? Just comment below. Ask us about grappling. If you want to see more more videos on how to deal with grapplers let us know as well comment below and give us a thumbs up i mean sifu is doing a lot of work for you to share the art with you so show some love to see octavio and make sure you click on the description and check out Sifu's website as well until next time be water my friend